The Syrian army is gone. He's the president. These are the victims of what appears to be the deadliest Saudi-led airstrike so far. For a third night, the Saudi-led coalition strikes Houthi targets. We will continue to target their movement. The Houthis aren't showing many signs of being open to dialogue. They remain defiant. The Syrian army is gone, and opposition fighters are now in control here. The city of Idlib has been under the Syrian government for most of this war, but after days of fighting, it is the rebels who are now in charge. Along with much of the journey, there was a military guard of honor and a 21-gun salute. This country has been in mourning for seven days, and as Monday approaches, a new political dawn begins, one without Lee Kuan Yew. Djibouti is also home to a number of bases for foreign troops. US base gives American forces the opportunity to strike Al-Qaeda and its allies in Yemen and Somalia. These are the victims of what appears to be the deadliest Saudi-led airstrike so far. This was a camp in Yemen's north for those fleeing the violence which has gripped Yemen for more than a decade. He's the president-elect in Africa's most populous country. How does it feel inside well, after 12 years? Fulfilled. It was a historic day, the first time in Nigeria's history an elected government has failed to win re-election. 